Now, as you know, Hunter Biden isn't just a recovering drug addict. He's not just a bloke who, of course, was a uh, expert in energy, despite the fact that he wasn't an expert in energy, but was being paid a lot of money by a energy company in the Ukraine. You know, no connection to his father being the former vice president and future president of the United States. You know, nothing to see here, right? Well, now he's an artist, apparently. Among other things, he uses straws these days, not to administer booger sugar, but instead to uh, spray paint onto canvases. And these things, despite the fact that he is uh, not exactly a renowned artist, are apparently selling for half a million dollars. Why? How? How much goes back to the big guy? Who knows? But questions are now being asked about, hang on, why would anyone pay half a million dollars to a bloke who's not a known artist and who was only known as being the son of the President of the United States. Why would that be the case? Well, the issue might be, who is the one buying the art? I'll let NBC take it from here. Powerful and impactful work, according to the gallery owner who will sell Hunter Biden's art this fall. Art critics aren't so sure. Well, it's not as bad as I might have thought. Others have been tougher, one calling it hotel art. But the gallery says it values some of the first-time artist paintings up to a half a million dollars. You could get a work by Matisse or Degas for a similar amount of money. How much of that is the name? Almost all of it, I'd say. The sale triggering criticism of a White House that touts itself as the most ethical administration in history. So the son of the president is paid potentially half a million dollars for first time work that would be the same value as works from Matisse. The White House has come out and said today that they will not reveal who are the people who are paying half a million dollars for the art of the son of the president. Remember all of those people who used to blow up that we needed to declare every single dollar that was going through a Trump hotel? What about money going specifically from mystery buyers to the son of the president? Well, nothing to see here, of course. Well, I, I can tell you that after careful consideration, a system has been established that allows for Hunter Biden to work in his profession within reasonable safeguards. Uh, of course, he has the right to pursue an artistic career, just like any child of a president has the right to pursue a career. Uh, but all interactions regarding the selling of art and the setting of prices uh, will be handled by a professional gallerist adhering to the highest industry standards. But who's paying the money? And why? One of the things I'll talk about with Miranda Devine, who has literally written the book on Hunter Biden and the laptop from hell. She joins us from New York a bit later in the show.